Welcome to section 2 of the CryEngine 3 SDK level design course. In this section we're going to talk about the generation and decoration of your terrain. To start off, go up to File and then click on New. It's going to ask you to name your level. Throughout the course of these videos, I'm going to be working on the same level, and we're just going to call it Level 1. And then go ahead and hit OK at the bottom. A new one is going to pop up asking you to select a project. You really don't have to worry about this until you want to share your levels with others on crydev.net. And then go ahead and hit OK at the bottom of Generate Surface Texture. And once that orange bar at the bottom of the editor is done loading, it should take you into an empty level with nothing but water. Go ahead and go up to the Terrain menu at the top of the editor and then click on Edit Terrain. This is gonna bring up the Terrain Editor. It'll give you a mini-map level here on the left. The easiest way to generate terrain is to go up to Tools and hit Generate Terrain. But first, we wanna actually set the terrain max height so you don't get these massive mountains. We're gonna go ahead and set this to 30. Now, one thing to keep in mind is it doesn't start the height from the top of the water, it starts from the bottom of the water. And 30 should give us some terrain right above the surface of the water. You'll get some settings here that you can adjust for the noise and amplitude of the terrain, but go ahead and just hit OK at the bottom. You should get something like this. This is really good for prototyping. Say you wanted to test out some scripts or some models that you're wanting to try to import into the engine. You can generate a really quick terrain by doing this. But we want to discuss a couple of other ways on how to get a terrain in your level. Go ahead and go up to Edit Terrain, and Modify, and Erase Terrain. That'll get rid of the terrain that's in there now. And next we're going to import what's called a height map. Now a height map is a black and white image that represents the height of the level. The first height map we're going to import is just going to be a small 256 by 256 bitmap image. We're also going to set the max height up to 80. That way we can get a bit more definition in the mountains and everything that comes in that bitmap. Now I'm keeping these images stored under Game, Levels, Level 1, and then you see the two bitmaps here. Now I'm going to refer to this folder quite often, so you may want to remember where that is in your set of folders. But here's the low res bitmap, and you can tell as it loads in, it's really blocky. You see a lot of these squares everywhere. That's because it's using a really low resolution image. Now we can kind of fix this if you go up to Terrain, Edit Terrain, Modify, and then Smooth Slope. And it'll even out the terrain between the, the high points and the valleys and smooth everything out. It's a good way to fix a really low res height map like that. Now let's go ahead and see what a high res height map would look like. Well, a higher res. The next bitmap we're going to use is going to be a 512 by 512 image versus the 256 that we had just loaded in. And as you can tell, everything such as the valleys and the mountains are a bit more defined. It's still quite spiky, but you can get even higher resolution images to fix that. And you'll notice that if we hit smooth slope, it gives you essentially the exact same peaks and valleys that you had whenever you had the lower resolution terrain. Now, one of the common problems that people run into when they're very first generating their terrain is they get stuck underneath the terrain, and that you may not recognize that you're underneath the terrain until you see it for the first time. So, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the terrain that we have in here now. And then I'm gonna move the camera really close to the water. And then I'm going to generate that terrain again. So theoretically, I should be underneath the terrain when it's generated. And you'll notice how the entire level looks messed up. Now, it automatically popped me out to the side, which the CryEngine has been getting better about. But a lot of times, you may not get popped out to the side. So you'll have to move your camera up or down until you find yourself above the terrain in which everything starts normal again. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to further detail the terrain so you can perfect your height map that you had loaded into the level.